Hey folks, Jim Dufault here for New Calgon with another micro training class. So today we're going to be going over New Calgon's lineup of pH treat condensate neutralizers. So what am I talking about? So if you install or you service high efficiency furnaces, high efficiency boilers, and even tankless hot water heaters, the condensate water that those give off can be very acidic. So when we talk about pH, we want to talk about raising the pH level to something that's more neutral or neutralized. So we're trying to neutralize the acid that's in that condensate water off those high efficiency pieces of equipment. And so we do that with uh, the items here in front. So just to talk about pH uh, very, very quickly. So as you, you're probably seeing this uh, pH scale that I'm putting up now in front of you. So you're looking at a pH scale that runs from zero, meaning the most acidic, all the way to 14, which is the most alkaline where we want to try to neutralize these acids is in that uh, seven and eight range, somewhere in the middle, or what we call neutral. So that's why we, that's why we want to neutralize those acids. And the, the condensate water that uh, these high efficiency boilers and furnaces and so forth uh, give off is, is going to have a pH level in around that three and maybe four range. And so that can be pretty acidic. And so we want to neutralize that, that pH level and bring it up to around a seven or eight again, neutralizing that, that water. And so that's what these products do. Now, you're definitely going to want to check with your, uh, your local, regional, and state codes uh, because there are codes out there that require these devices on that acidic condensate because when that, that, uh, that acidic condensate can, can damage the, the pipes and fittings, it can damage the metal grates. So anything metallic is going to get broken down and eaten away by that acid over time. Uh, it can even eat away and break apart concrete. So another reason why we want to go ahead and, and neutralize that acid and more importantly, that acidic water, once that gets into a sewer system, uh, you know, into a septic system, it's going to harm and, can and kill that good bacteria that's in there, that's in there to help break down and uh, break apart all that solid waste that's in there. So another reason why. And again, I believe there's an international plumbing code, an IPC code, uh, 803.1, I believe, that talks about neutralizers. So, uh, you know, that uh, these types of uh, appliances, these types of pieces of equipment, that condensate water needs to be either diluted or neutralized by running it through a neutralizing media, uh, which is what New Calgon has here for products. So I'm going to take you through each one because each one services a, s a specific size or piece of equipment. And so let's start with the first one over here. This is the, uh, the smallest one. And uh, so this is a disposable cartridge and uh, you're looking at uh, this servicing equipment that's around 225,000 BTUs per hour at 93% efficiency or one gallon per hour worth of condensate flow. So this will get installed in that condensate line. Uh, it's going to be installed vertically, so we're using gravity to help feed the water, that condensate water, through the media that's on the inside of this to neutralize it, and then out the other side. Now the media itself that's on the inside of these is calcium carbonate or calcite. So that calcium base that's going to go ahead and neutralize acids. And so you're going to look at about a year worth of a lifespan on a cartridge like this or until the pH level uh, drops below six. So you're going to want to be testing the condensate water, uh, you know, fairly, I wouldn't say fairly often, but from time to time, you're going to want to test this, particularly as you're getting closer to that one year, uh, you know, mark for a, for a filter like this. So once you get to that one year, you'll want to test the water. If, it's, if that pH level has fallen below six, it's time to replace this. And again, this is just completely disposable. You'll just go ahead and, uh, and just throw that away and, uh, and then just grab a, a new one and install it and you're up and running again. So the next one we have is for a little larger system. So you're going to be looking at systems with this that are around 400,000 BTUs per hour, again at 93% efficiency, or around 1.6 gallons per hour uh, worth of flow rate. Now what sets this one apart from the, the previous one is the media that you can see here, these little, little marbles. Uh, is completely replaceable. So after about a year, or again, when the pH level of the water, the condensate water, uh, you know, gets below six again in the, into that four and five range, it's time to replace the media. And uh, very simple to install. This can be installed uh, either uh, horizontally uh, or vertically. Uh, so you'll have some options there. Again, this is going to come, and just like the one previously, it's going to come with multiple little fittings to help with the piping to help get it to get it set up. That'll come in the box. These will all come with the media already in it, ready to go. Now, each one of these has a part number for the replaceable media, and this one, and, and of course these two here, again, this one's disposable, so there's no replaceable media. Uh, so the, it'll have uh, its own part number for the media uh, for each one of these. Obviously, we don't want to send you the media for the large one 
here when this is uh, the media that you need. And uh, so again, uh, after about a year testing the water, falls below six uh, in pH level, it's uh, time to take this apart. Th these caps just screw off and then you uh, just dispose of the media that's on the inside of that and uh, fill it back up and then reinstall it and you're ready to go. So the next one is the most unique one, obviously, because you can tell it has a pump. And so this isn't just for commercial applications because of the size, uh, but it's also good for residential applications as well, and I'll tell you why. So, but uh, first of all, you're looking at a half a million BTUs at 93% efficiency or around 1.9 or just under two gallons per minute worth of flow rate. And uh, again, uh, the media is you know, already gonna be in on the inside of this. Uh, the condensate will come in uh, from that uh, boiler or that furnace uh, on this side over here. It'll get channeled through the media that's in there there and then into this little reservoir. And of course, once that float on the pump gets raised up high enough, it's going to kick the pump on uh, and then that condensate is going to get pumped out. So this is great. Obviously, it's going to be installed just like you see horizontally, but this is perfect for applications or scenarios where you don't have gravity as a friend, where that drain line is just going to come off and then run into the ground and into the drain. You know, this is going to be for uh, scenarios or applications where you've got to pump that water either a long distance or you've got to pump that water up and out of a basement or a crawl space. So this will this will pump up to 20 foot of head, and you'll be around uh, 32 gallons per hour worth of pumping rate with that with that type of uh, you know that type of a scenario. Otherwise, you'll be around uh, around 70 73 74 gallons per hour worth of flow rate if you've just got a, a fairly level ground, but you've got to pump it a long distance. The other thing that uh, makes this unique is uh, you, you have the ability to run the condensate from your AC unit into this as well. So just behind uh, this, this pump outlet here, there's a, another little AC inlet where the AC water from that condensate water from your air conditioner can be put into this as well. And obviously that doesn't need to be treated because it's not acidic, uh, but it'll, it'll get put into this uh, little holding reservoir and, uh, and then pumped out obviously when it, uh, the water level gets high enough. And then finally, the one over here, this is the, uh, this is the big boy, this uh, large tub looks like a storage unit, or storage container rather. Uh, so this is going to be for uh, units that are at 3 million BTUs per hour at 93% efficiency or up to 20 gallons per hour worth of condensate, uh, condensate flow. So there's uh, multiple channels that are on the inside of this. This will come with about 32 pounds of uh, the calcium carbonate on the inside. And uh, you can see I've got an inlet and an outlet on one side and then I've got uh, just a single outlet on the other side. So you have a couple options, whether you want the, uh, the condensate uh, to come in on this side and out the same side, or whether you want the condensate to come in, again, run through the channels, and, and there'll be directions on how to set that up depending on how you want that uh, flow in and out of this. Uh, again, you're looking at uh, you know, a, a year's worth of use out of the media that's in this. As with all of these, they're all a, a, around a year's worth of use in the media, or until, again, until that pH level falls below. Six. So that's it. New Calgon's lineup of pH treat condensate neutralizers. So if you'd like more information, uh, you can find everything that I have here, including uh, these cut sheets. I've got a cut sheet here. And uh, then, of course, I've got a uh, product bulletin. This is actually really good because this goes into a little bit more detail uh, about each one of these neutralizers here in front of me. Uh, and you can find that online at uh, www.newcalgon.com. You can find everything you need on these products. And of course, if you'd like to start a conversation with us, you can do that anytime at info at newcalgon.com. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I, I, I hope you, uh, you know, this is something that uh, you can use uh, in, your, uh, in your stores. And, uh, and if you're a contractor, this will be something great and easy to find uh, for those types of scenarios and that, those types of equipment that you use. So that's it. I'm Jim Dufault for New Calgon. Thanks for watching.